welcome back to the Yugaman channel and this evening there is some new news that is actually very very interesting in Uganda here so guys if you see my face for the very first time please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so that you never miss out on any of my videos so guys today uh, there is some news that has come out that is very very interesting in uganda's political scene and of course the woman representative for kasese district winnie kiza honorable winnie kiza has made things clearer and showed a lot of maturity by announcing that she will not be seeking re-election into office this was through a statement that she released on her social media platforms today uh the 13th um 14th of july 2020 so i want to read through the statement so that you guys can get to know what she put down and of course how this is going down so the statement read we have had a great run together fellow ugandans it has been an incredible honor and privilege to serve the people of kasese district first as the district councillor representing the people of Chondo Kisinga sub counties for seven years and then as Kasese district woman representative in the parliament of Uganda since 2006. Over the course of the last 20 years, 22 years, I have been blessed with opportunities to serve my country in various leadership capacities allow me to thank the forum for democratic change that is fdc under the leadership of dr kiza besje and major general retired mogisha Munt for according me opportunities that highlighted my leadership qualities including serving as the first female leader of the opposition in the political history of uganda with that being stated i wish to inform you of my decision not to seek re-election for the Kasese District Woman Representative seat in the forthcoming general election. I can only feel successful if I participate in the election of my successor because together we can shape the destiny of our community. I'm grateful to the people of Kasese District for placing their trust in me and according me the privilege to serve them and our country at large. I have much respect for all individuals, groups, organizations, and institutions that support all my efforts, and it's my humble prayer that you be rewarded. In a special way, I thank my lovely husband, Honorable Bwambale Yokas, behind the family and friends for the support all through this journey. As I'm about to take leave, I want to give you assurance that I will continue holding on the struggle for the good governance, human dignity and equality, equality and justice. Lastly, but most importantly, I thank God by his grace, we have been able to come this far. Thank you for God in my country. And she signs out since yours sincerely, Winnie Kiza. So, guys that is what's happening that is what's new actually and for me i think you know for people like honorable winnie kiza to come out and say hey i have done my bit let me let others play their bit in shaping the destiny of our country in shaping the destiny of our community i think is something to really really applaud and hey honorable Thank you so much. It's uh, it's such a wonderful gesture to all those in power, to all those in political offices, that there is a time to come, there is a, a time to serve, and there is a time to leave. So if you have done your bit, please let others come and do their bit. So for me, it's a great achievement for FDC. I hope that <laughs> Dr. Kano Kiza basically can think about the same and of course also our president, President Jerome Seven can think about the same. Retirement from political office uh, and political service is actually something good. It's, it's one that gives opportunity to the new generation of leaders to come and take over. 
it gives opportunity to other leaders to young people to come and shape the destiny of our community so i hope all those old people all those people that have been in the same offices for a very long time is it is time to think about it it's time to think about your communities it's time to think about the people that you're leading and the example that has been expressed by honorable winnie kiza is one that many need to emulate and many need to adapt to make sure that at least we have a change that we desire so thank you so much honorable winnie kiza and for those of you that want to look at this document that honorable winnie kiza put up you actually can go and check out her social media handles you'll be able to see it on twitter at winnie kiza one at winnie kiza one you'll be able to look at that post where she actually posted the statement and also detailed down in a tweet and she tagged parliament in that case so um you can all be able to look at it uh, it's got a lot of engagement maybe i can read you some of the comments that people have actually put on this comment on this story here you have shown maturity honorable we need leaders like you but we, we will miss you that is aiden kalisa commented then another person came and said thanks for serving your nation this is a better precedent okay so that was kigozi akraham then um, zafaru commented general moses ali is wondering what went wrong with his young girl retiring at a teenage yes that is a comment from someone else thank you for your service to our country that is pious who has commented on the same tweet uh thank you honorable for the service you rendered to your people and god bless your race that is donald uh there is another person here morris thanks honorable for being a good example and showing mature god bless you uh and you have been exceptional thank you for the del for diligently serving your country and may god richly reward you in your new endeavors that is another comment coming in from mark and then to whom shall my vote walk to now that she is of politics you did an incredible job that was amanda who commented on the honorable's post a true emblem of leadership you exited when less predicted okay so guys that is the story and you guys if you're watching this channel for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell for all the stories that i always share that are concerning us our country that are concerning things that happen in uganda and across africa so adios thanks for watching and cheers i'll see you guys again in the next video cheers